Joining Lucy and myself once again, Lucas Oil. Guys, we're going to take you back in time. We're going to turn it back. Let's go back to the old days. And when I say old, I mean that in a very good way. But you, my friend, are a wily veteran, Nigel. You've been around a long time. So tell us how it all started for you back in the good old days. Well, it was quite a while ago. Yeah, 1974, really. Um, it was like yesterday. The always first race is, uh, is always one of your best. And uh, certainly, I started racing in Dawlish in England, in English Channel. Nice and rough there. And that was a really good uh, you know, starting off point for, for the career. But you know, over the years, I personally raced in 25 countries on five continents. But the best races, really, when I think about them all, is Key West, obviously, is, is right up there in the top five, and Sarasota. They're two of my favorite ones. And so it's really great this year to come back to the United States and, and race here. And there's just great competitors, and especially bringing my Swedish brother here to race with. So. <laughs> Michael, this definitely is an international sport. I mean, you, you guys are, are superstars all over the world. But take us back for you and, and give us your history of how you got involved with, with maybe your love of boats and how, how that transgressed and, uh, and got into racing. Well, basically, I started off by being a boat fetishist. My parents told me I stole the boat when I was one the first time. <laughs> Luckily, my father managed to stay on board when I hit the hammer. But um, from there on, I, I just loved boating all the time, both sailing and, and uh, motorboating. And from that, I've been looking for many years for um, a racing class that I think have interesting boats. I'm not that much into flat water. I like feeling the water and handling the waves. So found a class that Nigel actually was racing in. I was looking for a project to start a project and well uh, good timing enough Nigel totaled his boat in Gothenburg and so he was need in the need of a new project as well so we kind of merged there and that was in 09. Lucy is an international star herself and I know she's got some questions for you guys. Well yeah I mean just hearing the history and how long you guys have been racing is there a race that really stands out over the years that, that really was special to you or really made a difference? Well, to me, actually, there's many, but, but uh, I must admit, uh, of all the races I've done, the one just this year in Sarasota was particularly special, um, particularly because we, uh, you know, we won the race, we, we beat the entire field, the Silver Hook is a fantastic boat, we got a sh chance to show that in front of a lot of people, but, but really, the most important part, the most memorable part for me is, is winning the uh, Sportsman's Trophy, the Kevin Brown Sportsman's Trophy. Let me just uh, interject uh, uh, one of my fond memories of, of the, the Lucas Oil team, and this was in Washington, North Carolina, in Reggie Fountain's backyard. And, and you guys had the only non-Fountain Hall, I believe, in, in the class. It was a skater then. It wasn't this beautiful manor felt. Uh, but you went out there, and, and you handily beat all the, all the Fountain boats in Reggie's backyard in Little Washington, North Carolina. And I know that's something that you have to always remember. Yeah, well, I remember your comment at the end when we got the awards. You know, we were looking over our shoulder here because we actually got away with winning first place in front of everybody in the Fountain hometown. And your comments in the end, I, I can't do it justice. You're going to have to say what you said as you gave us the award. Well, I looked at Reggie's face and I looked at all of his employees back there, and they looked like, like they just lost their best friend. So in Reggie's voice, I went, you boys ain't getting out of this county alive. <laughs> It was a great moment in boat racing history. But speaking of history, how many races do you have under your belt now? Actually, starting to lose count, but it's not that many. It's about 20 races, probably, uh, both in Europe and over here. And important races for me is, of course, Key West in 2009 when we started off together in Nigel's uh, older skater boat. That was always a special memory for the first race in this class. And then Sarasota this year was uh, especially a big one, yeah. Lucy, it has to make you feel good that, that one of their fondest memories is your race as race director, festival director in Sarasota. It, it does, and I didn't stage that, by the way. <laughs> um, no, it does. I mean, Kevin, for those that knew Kevin Brown, Kevin was a special person in the sport of racing, and it was it was really bittersweet to be able to give you guys that award, and and uh, you, you put on a great show, and it was very special. So thank you. Uh, it's an honor to be mentioned, and because after racing around the world, saying Sarasota means means a heck of a lot. So thank you, and we really wish you the best in the worlds and in the nationals. Thank you, and you know, the, one of the other aspects of, of, of what you've done in Sarasota over the last 20 odd years is raise so many millions of dollars to the to the children with special needs. And that, that you know, when you're racing these, we have a lot of fun, of course, and we're, we're doing it to sell the Silverhook boats and promote Lucas Oil, a MAV TV, American Reel. But we're also, when you can do something which benefits such a great charity, for children, it, it's uh, with special needs. It's uh, that really what makes it very special. Yeah. 
if you looked up class racing team in the Webster's Dictionary, if there was a category for that, you would see these guys' pictures. Nigel, you've been around a long time, and you have made a big, big dent on this sport in just a short amount of time. But this is a class act right here and a very, very fast boat. Wish Lucas Oil all the best in Key West.